Hey everybody, welcome back to Funky Steve's Medina's. Um, today we're going to do a Lancer rebuild. Now, last episode, at the end of the episode, last episode, I said that we were going to be able to outfit two Lances. However, I've had a look at what we've got in storage and how we'd have to outlet, outfit these guys, and I wouldn't be really happy with the way the Lance would be laid out. So I'm going to do a couple of things here. Uh, I got to make a few, not really necessarily sacrifices, but I got to make some decisions. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to, right now we're going to pull the crab out of service. Just put them in the storage for now. And we're going to put the unfixed hunchback, the uh, MML version. We're going to put him in storage too for now because I've got some ideas what we're going to use all this stuff here for. So we're going to just put that in storage and confirm this. So the first thing I want to look at today is the bushwhacker. I already know what I kind of want to do with the Mjolnir, so let's have a look at the Bushwhacker. This is going to be basically an, an enhanced version of our crab that we had. So let's refit this guy. And because this guy's got so many more hard points, um, I want to turn this guy into a killer mech, basically. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our missile systems. Um, and I want to get our all the uh, MMLs we have which we do have a bunch now. We've got two MML5s, which we can put in one torso, and an MML3 and an MML7, which we can put in another torso. Uh, we've also got, um, where are you here? Uh, the dead fire ammo, which we want to use. And since we're firing 20 rounds per turn, uh, we're going to need a couple of tons of ammo, most likely. Um, so that's 100 rounds. The regular LRM rounds are 120, so that's six turns. This would be 11 turns. Um, uh, yeah, I think, well, yeah, about 11 turns, I think, of MML fire is probably pretty good. So we're going to put these two in this side here. And don't worry about the weight for now. I'm going to go to equipment. Uh, we've got a light engine we can use, so we're going to throw that in here. Um, and I want to go, and I want to put a weapon mount on each arm. Actually, not in this guy, sorry. We're going to leave those off. Uh, we want to use... Not the XL gyro. We want our Artemis system in here. So we're going to drop that in. And why won't... Dead fire ammo can't be used with Artemis. Well. So these guys do 6 damage each, right? 8 damage each times 5. So... Dead fire would be 12. I was really hoping we could use the Artemis system. Kind of sucks. Definitely need case two though. Um, definitely want to put Pharaoh in this guy. Our cockpit right now, uh, we don't really have the one we, exactly that we want. Um, but I think we want to use this guy here. Slick Sweet. Um, because this guy's going to be in closer. It's nice to have better sensor and sight range. Uh, and give him an increased initiative. And so we'll do that here. Um, we're still really heat efficient here. So we got we can put a lot more in this guy. Put a couple hands on him. Oh, we can't put hands? Lower arms, I think? Yeah, lower arms. There we go. Um, so let's have a look at laser weapons that we can put in the arms. Now we could just go with medium lasers. Um, bonus to hit medium lasers in the arms. Or, how much do those light AC5s weigh again? Oh, they're 5 tons, so that's a little more than I thought. Uh, we could lower the engine. It's a 275 right now. Um, if we go with like a 250 maybe? How much is this weigh? 12 and a half. And... 15. It's not really saving that much weight. Two and a half tons. Um, what else do we have here? Do we have anything good ballistic wise? We could we could put one ballistic on one arm and one something else on the other. Medium rifle is seven tons. Way too much. Machine gun arrays. I think we've already been down that road. We could drop a couple of light machine guns in the arm. That's a possibility. Uh, we want to give this guy a bit more punch though. So that's kind of out of the question. We do have missile pods for the other arm. So we could put in 
Don't really have the weight for it, but we could make weight for it. LRM 15, Thunderbolt system. MRM 20s. How much did these things weigh again? Seven tons. I mean, we could put. Ah, we had such bad success with these guys, though. If we put the two MRM systems in, cannot use dead fire ammo and Artemis ammo or Artemis TTS. So those would be useless. If we go with a long range boat, we could put a couple of LRM 15s in this guy. Then we could use the Artemis system. Hmm. No, I'm thinking lasers. It's a tough choice. Medium laser in each arm. What we got left for heat here? A little bit, not much. Um. We could save our Pharaoh. This guy's not really as punchy as I was hoping it was going to be. Um, but with 20 missiles firing continuously doing tw you know, 12 damage each at close range. You know, it's what? Um, 20 times 12 is 240. That's not that bad actually. 240 damage if they all hit and they all do damage. So, just wish we had a uh, missile targeting system. What's in the store? There's a couple things I wanted to pick up in the store here. Um, we've kind of got the cash for it, but we kind of don't. Accuracy, medium laser. Plus 10 damage, medium laser. That's a possibility. 100,000. Let's buy that. We'll drop that in this guy. Injury cockpit, view cockpit. TTS energy. Bit pricey. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll go... We've only got two laser points? No, we got one in the center torso as well. Put one medium laser in the center torso. Let's put the uh, um, higher damage medium laser in the arm. Um, knock one off here. Two off here. So now we've got a ton and a half left over. Uh, we don't really have that much slots left. So maybe we drop... Do you have any good small lasers? Flamers are a whole ton, aren't they? Yeah. Um, they don't really have any good small lasers. I mean, we could just drop a small laser in the CT and then, and then a heat sink or something. What's our heat right now? 82, way over. But if we just, if we don't include the small laser, which is 8 heat, is it eight or six? Can't remember now. Eight heat, yeah. Because we're not going to be firing with that most of the time. So it'll be 80, 82. So it's pretty good. Or 74, 72. So we're only going to have a two, two heat sinking difference. So I'm thinking that's pretty good. We're going to run this loadout, see how this works. Let's confirm that. 22 days. Right. All right. So the next thing we want to do is have a look at the Mjolnir. Now this guy, um, this base model, um, has an interesting quirk. It's got bonus Gauss rifle and bonus PPC damage. So since we lost, let's refit the uh, Jager mech here real quick. Since we lost the um, PPC capacitor out of this guy, what I want to do is I want to strip this guy pretty much of almost everything. I want to take the proto heat sink kit out of here. XL gyro I think can probably come out. Um, Definitely the exchanger. I want to pull out at least two PPCs. Actually, let's pull out three. What did I just pull out of there? Got the gyro. Yeah, okay, right. Pull all three PPCs. And the TTS energies are going to come out of here. All three in the pirate cockpit is going to come out. Leave the fusion core. Um, let's pull the guardian for now as well. I think we're going to need it in the Mjolnir. So let's confirm this. Okay, Mjolnir, let's have a look here. So we're only, only, we're only going to be going up by 5 tons on this guy. So our other guy had a 260 fusion 
core. I think we've got a smaller one here. I want to save the weight. I don't really care about speed right now. So 15 and a half tons, that's pretty good. I will go with that. Uh, we want to bring in um, Guardian ECM. Let's put that, since we barely have any of those, let's put it in the head. And we want to put weapon mount on this arm for sure. Uh, we want the Pirate TC cockpit. Exchanger we're definitely going to need. Proto heatsink kit, we want that. And we're going to want our endosteel. We're going to want our ferrofibrous most likely. Um, we also want the TTS energies. I'm just going to drop them in this torso for now. We want all three of them. Um, where is the regular one? There it is. Drop those guys in there. And we had the XL gyro, which we can drop in. All right, saving a bit of weight now for PPCs. See how many we can drop on here. We can put two in the one arm. All right, and we've got enough for maybe two more. So that's a start. Now, what's our heat efficiency out here? Pretty damn good. This is going to be crazy, guys. So we got four P four double plus PPCs. This is 120 heat sinking. The Pirate TC adds 10%, I think. Yeah, that was um, some, nothing that Fist of Dorn mentioned, that this thing adds heat. I had completely forgotten about that. So plus 10% weapon heat generated. So minus 20, so it's minus 10%, minus 20% weapon heat generated. 30, 60, 90, 120. Minus 20% is 96. So what is it saying here? 86. Right, because we're losing another 9 heat sinking because of the exchanger. So it's about right. Heat sinking is 69 right now. Didn't max the armor. That's the other thing we have to do. Max out the armor. And we need some heat sinking here, so how are we going to get that? So we have half a ton. Um, how are we going to get some heat sinking here? Wait a minute, we didn't. We weren't able to max out the entire armor? We weren't. Maybe we go down to a 200. This is getting really slow though. But does it need to be fast? That's the question, right? Right, now we should be able to max out the armor. Okay, maxing out the armor. Um, does it need a, can we use a hand? We can use a hand, just in case we have to melee for some reason, get that plus one melee accuracy back on this arm. Just in case, I don't think we will, but, and then we've got, definitely we can put two, what are we at here? 63, two of these guys. Let's put one on this side though. Uh, and now we're out of slots. 69.86, man, that's tough. Um, if we lose the ferrule, we go over. Any way to get extra slots, that's the question. There isn't really. We have to take stuff out. Don't have any smaller cores, so we're stuck with the weight of the engine. Maybe we can't get three PPCs on this thing and do what we want. I mean, we could just cycle, cycle one of the PPCs, and if we take one of these guys out, we can just put three regular heat sinks in. Actually, just put these guys here. Put this one here and this one here. And then half a ton of armor off the back, probably. Like that. Oh, one more. Because of the Pharaoh. Okay, so what's our heat sinking at now? 7286. We cycle one of the PPCs. Yeah, I mean, we're plus six to hit. 789 with these two. Yeah, plus nine to hit with these PPCs, <laughs> plus six to hit with these two. Plus they do increase damage because of the chassis. Now, I don't know how much that is, whether it's 10% or 5% or whatever it is. But supposedly this chassis 
if we have a look at the information here, uh, it says improved Goss and PPC damage. Now, whatever that is, um, I don't know. We'll find out. So, yeah, I think we're going to go this route, four PPCs. Um, I mean, the other way to do this, too, is to pull out one of the PPCs and put three medium lasers in or something for the same heat um, and spread some damage out. But I'm thinking with the big ac with the big accuracy on these guys, it says minus one accuracy with the PPCs, but still with uh, plus five accuracy in the torso, it's plus eight accuracy on the arms, right? I'm thinking that this thing is going to be pretty devastating, pretty devastating firepower coming in. Definitely need the Guardian, so we're not going to be moving very far. So let's confirm this guy. 30 days. I think it's definitely worth it. We've got the time to wait. Okay, so now let's look at the Jager mech. This guy's always been a tough one to outfit. And I think this guy should just become a fire support mech again. Um... We don't have a lot of close-in brawlers and stuff, which is fine. But I think this guy does his best role as fire support. Um, I don't know how how else to lay this guy out. I mean, we could turn him into an entire headshotting um, machine gun brawler, put a big bigger engine in him so he goes faster, get him into the battle easier, put machine gun arrays, light machine gun, heavy machine gun, like just all machine guns. Because we've got, what, we've got four... Well, we can only get four on here. We got four um, ballistic, and then we got four lasers. So it's not really a whole lot. So, I mean, the other thing, too, is we could go Goss and Ultra 5. Or we could go, like, these are seven tons, or five tons. So we could go two light AC5s. And maybe a couple of AC10s. If we lower the engine... I mean, this is only 35 damage. 70, 60. And then another 70 would be 200 damage. This way, with the Gauss rifle and these two, it'd be 150 damage. So it's not really... Ah, I don't know. It's a tough choice. Like, if we go two AC-10s and two light AC-5s, like, we don't even have... Like, we'd have to drop the... Uh, core. We definitely need a TTS ballistic in here for sure. If we drop the core to a 200, like even then we still can't even do it, right? Even with an XL gyro in there? Yeah. Not a damn thing we can do about it. So if we just kind of go with the um, two AC-10s even and put the regular core back in, I mean that's pretty much it, right? Three tons of ammo and you're done with your build. Ah, it's so frustrating. See, if we had Ultra 10s, it would totally be worth it. We're down to one Ultra 5. It was sad, though. We put that Ultra 5 in, and we just lost it on the very next mission. We put, all, we put them in both arms. I mean, we could go... We could go two Ultra 5s, two light AC5s, and then a bunch of mediums. Like if we go that route, we need four tons of ammo. So 65, yeah, a few, well, yeah, maybe. Let's see what ammo we have here. Um, this gives us extra rounds, that's 34 rounds. So double load. That's 17 turns of firing for this AC. Wait, that's 34. 44, 49. That's 12 turns of firing. Wait, 49 divided by 3. Uh, 16 turns of firing for the ACs. So that's plenty of ammo. Um, now we've got case, don't we? Yeah, just a regular case, unfortunately. Um, let's put the ammo on this side to save the Ultra 5 if we if the case goes off. And we got a double heatsink kit here, don't we? We do. We can put that in for sure. That's going to give us tons of heatsinking. Then we can just put 
I mean, this isn't the best build in the world. Uh, accuracy medium laser on this side. And just regular. What's the heat like now? Yeah. Then we go to equipment and we can put in. What is this again? Let's just put in two regular. Let's save the double heat sinks. Just put regular heat sinks in. Yeah, actually, that's not too bad, I guess. That's 100, 170, 250 damage. Not bad. And if we can find some upper arm ballistic actu actuators, that would be good, too. So let's go this route. Let's confirm this. No matter how I build this guy, I just ne never completely happy with him. So the rave back. Let's have a look if there's anything else we can do with this guy. Now that we got some extra components lying around, I'm um, going to equipment. So our heat sinking is really good on this guy. Yeah, don't have to worry about heat. TTS energies. Like if we. Like we could pull out one heat sink and put it in a bonus t the TTS. This will give us increased range, 10% increased range. And we got two weapon mounts too, but I don't think it's really worth putting them on this guy. So let's go this route, give him a better chance to hit I think. Let's confirm this, it's only a day. Yeah, see, we're just short gear, guys. I gotta start taking more cores um, and more extra components, I think. So this Hunchback, I think this guy is working phenomenal. I don't think we need to touch this guy. Um, I think it's working really, really well. Let's just have a quick look at the heat on it. This is something that we can probably switch out um, a regular heatsink for a double heatsink if we have the space. Uh, but there is no regular heat sinks in here. So how are we doing here? 75, 67. The other thing we can do, we have another ER medium laser. Well, I don't know. I don't want to lose the accuracy of the lasers in the arms though. Let's just leave it like that. These are plus three, right? Yeah. See this hunchback, the load on this hunchback, I really like this. The, the three mediums and the two PPCs. It's, it's you know, a, for 50 tons, it's a pretty good punch and it's fully armored too, right? Uh, we could put, well, no, we don't have room to put structure in, do we? No, we don't. That's fine. I mean, we could take the pharaoh out and put endo steel in instead. Oh, it's heavy pharaoh. Well, what if we do this? What do we get? Do we get anything different? Yeah, slightly more armor. That's probably better. So we can increase the back armor slightly. Something like that. Yeah, it's not bad. We don't have any regular Pharaoh left. Um, okay, let's confirm that. Good thing we checked that guy out. And the victor, let's have a look at this guy. I wonder if we can fit the heavy pharaoh in here. I don't think so. I think it's pretty crammed. Yeah, it's pretty damn crammed. How much space do we need for this thing? 15 slots. We'd have to lose a ton of stuff. Um, yeah, I don't really think there's much we can do to this guy. Like, I'm still shocked that we can't fit any mounts on this arm. It's kind of annoying. Um, I've already got an Artemis system in here. The TTS indirect we wanted to put in here somewhere. Where are we going to put this, though? Where we got heat efficiency wise? Pretty darn good. I mean, we could pull a heat sink out. 
right? We pull this out and put the interact TT. Uh, T oh, we, we can't put that with Artemis system in, can we? Right. Right. Is there anything else we can put in, though? Don't think so. Nope. Let's just leave this heat sink where it was then. Not much we can really do with this guy. I wish he had another uh, missile mount that we could run two Thunderbolts, but... I mean, we could lower the engine and get some weight, but we've only got like five slots left, so... I don't think it's really worth it. I mean, if we did do that, what, would we, what, what else would we run on this guy? We could pull all the machine guns off. And then what? Um... We wouldn't have enough weight for a Gauss rifle, so that's kind of not worth it. Um, AC-10 maybe? But even then, that's still 12. This is like 12 tons, right? Plus ammo. So 14 tons. There's no way we can get 14 tons out of this. That's a 22-ton engine. If we go with, let's say, a 250 instead... To 15 and a half. So we're saving what? Six and a half tons there. Seven. And four is 11. 12. 13 and a half. Yeah, we wouldn't. Well, we could come pretty darn close to putting an AC 10 in there. But we'd have to strip off all this and make it slower. And then it would be an AC 10, two medium lasers, and a Thunderbolt. And I'm not sure if that's. I think I like having the, the numerical um, weapons for better chances to hit. I mean, of course, the other way to do it would be to pull the light rifle off and put, rather than both medium lasers here, put like a ER um, large or something, or just like a large laser on there. Yeah. Like, I just don't think... Right at the moment, we really have the extra gear to really put this guy together like we should. So I think we'll just leave him as he is for now. Let's just go back. Alright, so that's our layout, I think. So we've got a good amount of time to wait here. So we got 30 and 22. We definitely need to have these two guys back. Jagermac, yes. yes. Pretty much everybody, so... Let's wait that time. Um, let's go to... Drop over there. I think we may have to take a... Um, if we click travel, does that actually... Take the mission, or... Does it appear there? I think we just can click travel here. Yeah, let's go just let's go to Brockway. It's going to take 11 days to get there. We'll get our financial report back. So I think we'll probably have enough if we haven't crashed here. We'll have enough for the next financial report. Um... Like this one plus the next one. So if there's a, nothing really going on in this planet, then, um, you know, we'll be able to make it through the next financial report without a problem. Plus there's a couple things that we can sell. Uh, what is this? Yeah, man, we'll hang out in the lounge for sure. You bet. Don't get a chance to do that very often. All right, so I mean, I'm interested to see what this flashpoint's like. I've seen a couple of them played. I purposefully avoid watching them because I want to experience them firsthand. I always find it's um, more fun to actually go and try it first, and then if you just can't figure out how to do it or you fail, then go and watch the videos online. This is the kind of way I feel. 
That's pretty much unrealistic entering into orbit there, but we'll take it. All right, 434,000. So we should have enough for the next financial report as well. Um, this is a three and a half skull. So we got to wait for our mechs to be back before we even attempt anything like that. Let's have a look at the contracts here. So we're just going to do a few things here before we end the episode. Have a look at the contracts. Check our barracks to make sure our pilots are up and running. Um, I'm really hoping... Oh, looks like we've got... Uh, we can do some priorities for um, Torian Concordant now too. Since we've helped them out a fair bit. Anyway, let's go back and come back in here contract wise. All right, so there's a few here that we can do. Two and a half, three skulls, maybe three and a half skulls. Um, it's kind of nice. We can try some of these higher ones too that we have some bigger mechs. All right, let's have a look at the barracks. So we're going to prep our other, like our younger pilots as well. So uh, yeah, let's start working on getting some bonus minus negative heat generation. Um... And Rhino. Now we're going to save up, probably most likely for sensor lock. So let's save up for that. Uh, Rocky. Let's go with some more gunnery for now. The range increase is definitely going to help out. And Saint. Still waiting on um, Warlord here. Steve. I am going to take uh, the piloting only because it gives me more initiative. So we're going to confirm that. Now, I think the second lance, I think we're going to keep our main lance as it is. We're going to alternate uh, Rocky and Saint. and uh, Most likely, these, these two are going to get al be alternates for the uh, our main lance. But I think we're going to hook up Squire. Now, Squire, I believe, is one of Yang's friends that we picked up a long time ago as part of an encounter, which is, this guy's the only, like... Um, Ronin mechs that, uh, mech warriors that we're ever going to hire because he did come through an encounter, so um, it, he's kind of legit. So we're, I think we'll probably make end up making him the commander of the next lance. So let's just do this here real quick. Um, what do we want to do? Minus heat gen. Mm. We want to go this route instead. Now, I'm thinking the minus 50% crit hits is probably really, really valuable. Um, I'm also thinking about piloting just for better initiative, but maybe we, we hold off, save the points, go for gunnery. So let's confirm this. Training complete. So he's the commander. Um, Jazz, to me, sounds more like a scout. So let's make him our scout. Um, Shoot move for sure. Uh, and we'll go with tactics just for initiative sake for now and confirm this. Mech warrior training complete. And uh, Kerberos and Tugboat. Yeah, hmm. Kerberos sounds more like a missile unit person to Waiting me. Something like that, I think. So maybe gunnery. Got to get the guts up for sure. So she's back in a combat earlier. We'll go this route, I think. Training confirmed, Commander. And then uh, tugboat will just be a fire support person, I guess. Let's go this way. Um, piloting or tactics? Piloting? If, well, yeah, let's just go piloting. That unsteady threshold really helps out. So let's confirm that. Training complete. All right. So there's our second lance, kind of started up. Which is good. Um, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll end the episode here for today. Um, I'll just keep advancing the timeline forward. And we'll get our mechs back. And then, before the end of the month, I'm hoping, if everybody's back, I'm thinking they will be. Should be pretty darn close, anyway. Um, let's talk our way out. Damn it. Uh, well, that's fine. At least she's not in the main lance. Um, so we should be back in service, hopefully before the end of the month. Then we can do the... Uh, here it comes. 
gonna be darn close yeah we got time nice all right so when we come back next time we will be doing the flashpoint um, and checking that out like I said I haven't done one of these yet so I'm looking forward to this we've got our main lance up and running now um, we're looking good I think we're gonna run I think what we'll do is we'll take um, the victor for sure we'll take the Mjolnir for sure um, possibly the bushwhacker uh, I like the MMLs um, I know it's not that fast of a mech but um, I mean it's kind of fast but it would be a nice brawler and then maybe we take the um, the rave back just for the stealth and the speed um, if we don't bring the bushwhacker then we'll definitely bring the other hunchback the PPC back um, for just for firepower so but I don't think we really need, need to do that because we have the uh, the Mjolnir with um, the tons of PPCs on it and the Thunderbolt coming from the uh, Victor so I think the Bushwhacker and the Raveback will probably be the ones that come with us so we're gonna leave the episode here if you like it please feel to drop a, to uh, drop a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed also if you've got any comments down below of possible loadouts for these mechs um, we got to bring some mechs forward but we're, I'm not gonna do that like I said until we get enough components internally to be able to load them out properly I mean, there's no point in just throwing together a, a crappy-ass mech and then trying to field it in battle and getting it blown up. It'd just be a waste of money. So we need some more endo steel. We need better engines. Um, we do need like more uh, ECM suites, which I'm hoping to get by going through Liao space. We want to try and get some stealth armor, NSSs, um, Guardian ECMs, things like that, um, as we go through Liao and, and uh, Davian space. And then... Um, you know, I, I'll feel a little bit more comfortable feeling that second lance. So, yeah, until next time, we'll see everybody later.